Hi guys, I'm Caleb. And I'm Brooke. Welcome to day four of Advent. We've been having a lot of fun and today is going to be no obsection. After the big flood, things got better for a little bit. God was still far away. The world was filled with wrong and darkness. Hmm. God was getting ready to do something about that. But no flood this time. Mm-mm, mm-mm, nope. God was gonna use the best part of his creation, people. And he started with an old man, Abraham. Abraham. God told Abraham, hey, I know you don't have any kids, but one day you're gonna have a huge family. Yeah, in fact, God told him he would have more family than the stars in the sky. Brooke, have you ever tried to count all of the stars in the sky? That's remarkable. But God wasn't even done then. God told Abraham that the most important thing wasn't even that he would have a million, billion, trillion family members, but that one of his, uh, his great, 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 grandchild would be the child that would bring Jesus back to earth. Whoa! I know. Ugh, that is remarkable. Abraham, he started laughing and his wife, Sarah, laughed too. <laughs> Maybe not like that, but. But they weren't laughing because they were happy. They were laughing at God. <sighs> God kept coming back and reminding Abraham what he said. And Abraham, did believe him. And you know what? Sarah did have a baby. Woo-hoo! That's pretty awesome. Yep, and they named him Isaac. Isaac, it's a pretty good name. And they started to think maybe God would really come back to them. Abraham and Sarah didn't always listen, but when they didn't listen, God seemed far away. So Abraham and Sarah began to hope and pray. These stories are so amazing. I wonder what we'll learn about tomorrow. Well, we'll see you tomorrow just to find out. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Bye.